ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Metalcast. This is episode number 412, brought to you by GeekJuiceMedia.com, where you can find us every week. Also, if you are a patron of $5 or more a month over at Patreon.com slash Metal, you can hear uh, the Metalcast early, as well as a couple other things uh, over there, Patreon.com slash Metal. Uh, you can find us uh, via email at Metalcast at GeekJuiceMedia.com, or via Facebook at Metalcast or Geek Juice. I'm Mike Riley. I'm Charles Dawkins. I'm Billy Carter. I'm Rick Tarasi. I'm Jace the Ace. All right. Sounds like a plan. So uh, Jace has been on now a month straight. <laughs> <laughs> there is no cast. There is an, only Jace. There is only Jace. Because he's I so am good. Everything. At, he's so good at Jeopardy. That's why. <laughs> well, we'll find out tonight because. Uh, as I pointed out before the show, tonight's Joker Jeopardy categories are half from the show and half stuff I've written. So the other two, the other two uh, contestants have a chance tonight. Well, more of a chance. <laughs> they might have a chance, but tonight it might be a close game. Who knows? We'll see. It is now time for the top five metal news stories of the week. That's right, the top five metal news stories of the week. You give us twenty-two minutes and. You touch my tra la la. La 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 la. My ding ding dong. My ding ding dong. Number five, Tattoo You. Which is more than just a Rolling Stones song. <clears throat> or album, for that matter. This is, uh. Where is this from? Oh, it's Florida. That's a good start. Oh, boy. Take start, a shot. Florida. Shot. Oh, no, this isn't Florida. This, the website's from Florida. This is New York. <laughs> oh, my. So we're, we're wrong part of the country. A Fulton, New York woman is seeking donations to help her remove a 420 tattoo from her forehead. <laughs> oh. Class. Stupid. Uh, Tabitha West created a GoFundMe j- uh, campaign on January 20th uh, to raise money for a tattoo removal. Uh, the tattoo reads 420, which is a common reference to marijuana. Uh, a mes- message on the GoFundMe c- a page reads, I am wanting money to get the tattoo off my head. I want to have a better start out in life and have a second chance at life. Please help me. I was young and dumb when I got that. I'm the older one looking for a job, can't get out, and people call me a druggie every day of my life. And being called 420 is not nice, and I almost kill myself over it. Can't stand to look at my face anymore. Save a life, save me, invest in me. I will show you I can be better with my life. Thank you. You're a moron. There was no, there was no p- p- punctuation in that entire sentence, by the way. Wow. Uh, he, she wow. set a goal. She set a goal of eight hundred dollars as of Monday. More than a thousand had already been raised. Class act, right there. Just looking at the picture, like you deserve not to get hired. So, uh, somebody wrote on the page. Apparently, it's people like you that keep my sick girl from getting help. My daughter has three brain tumors, cerebral palsy, neurofibromatosis, an optic glioma, and a feeding tube. My daughter's GoFundMe keeps getting passed over for things like this. There are too many people begging for money for their bad decisions in life. Uh, and somebody else said, people who donated, you're all fucking idiots. Uh, according to her GoFundMe, as of now, she has raised $1,109. What? And no sense. <laughs> <laughs> So she, she, uh, she surpassed her goal already. And uh, she's going to spend the rest on weed. A worker, uh, this <laughs> number four, is uh, kids are number one. A, uh, a worker who reportedly posted photos of herself giving children an, uh, inside a uh, Arizona daycare center, the middle finger, with the caption, I swear I love kids, is out of a job. Uh, this is uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh... Fox 10 Phoenix reported that law enforcement did not find anything criminal in the postings, but parents caught wind of the picture and were angry. The unnamed worker, a 19-year-old apparently oblivious to uh, any possible repercussions, reportedly showed the image to parents at the center. I was thinking, what is she thinking? Especially the one with the birdie, uh, Dorothy Thornton, owner of the daycare, said. She called it a birdie, guys. (laughs) Uh, there's the picture of the middle finger. It's blurred out, unfortunately. I don't have I love, the unblurred. I love kids. I love kids. I love kids. Fuck, fuck, fuck the floor is what I was trying to say here. Stupid floor. 
<sighs> number three. Start. My name is Jeff. <laughs> My name is Jeff. Uh, number three. Starting to be young. Uh-oh. Uh oh. This is West Palm Beach, Florida. So this is actually Florida. Take a it shot. Ain't, it ain't just Ooh. regular old Florida. This is actually Florida. Sorry, shot, 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 shot. Everybody. Uh, an eight-year-old boy. <laughs> An eight-year-old boy tried to hold up a West Palm Beach grocery store Wednesday night. What? The boy, the boy walked into King Foods and Meat Bazaar and pulled a loaded gun from his sweater and pointed it oh at God. a cashier. Uh, he was wearing a motor, like a motorcycle helmet. He was wearing a sweater over his mouth, the clerk said. He was showing only his eyes. Another yeah. employee then snatched the gun from a boy who tried to escape into the worker's gri- who tried to escape the worker's grip. Billy, could you open that bag a little louder, please? I didn't open a bag. Who was doing that then? You're, you're clipping the audio. Something fierce. <laughs> uh, I just immediately assumed it's Billy because <laughs> he was eating a little bit ago. I opened a Slim Jim, but it wasn't that loud. We still heard it. You have a really good mic on that headset, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, when I grabbed my purse, it was so light, said Ebony Alice, the boy's mother. I, I'm like, I knew I was missing something. I said, where my gun? Where my gun? Where my gun? <laughs> Where my hat is at. Hold on. So he robbed the place and forgot his gun? No, the eight-year-old boy took the gun out of her mom, his mom's purse and tried to hold up the store. Sounds like a story out of Boondocks. Okay. Uh, the boy was evaluated after making comments about wanting to hurt himself. No charges have been filed, but the incident remains under investigation. I'm going to withhold certain comments, so I'm just not going to say anything about this story. Number two, at least he used protection. Oh, nice. uh, this is Alaska, which more and more stories seem to be coming out of Alaska for some reason. It's, it's the Florida of the North. <laughs> it, 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 trust me, it is. I've been there. I thought fucking Washington was the Florida of the North. I, I can see I can see Russia from my house, don't you know? Yeah. They all talk that way up there. Just look put, put Whenever that you up ship there. your belongings across the country, you expect that everything will arrive safely and intact. You don't expect items to go missing or get or get damaged, but if they do, well you deal with it. That wasn't the case for one freaked out Alaska car transport customer. Sam Owens, who lives in Alaska, decided she wanted to drive to Nevada, so she organized for her car to be shipped to Seattle via the transport company. Everything appeared to have gone smoothly until she reached Portland. It was there that the university graduate opened her makeup bag that had been stored in the car while it was being shipped and claimed to have found this creepy note. I took your condoms, used them, used them with a lady co-worker smiley face, would love to tell you about it. Then he puts his email address. Uh, <laughs> the shock... The shocked Miss Owens shared the discovery on Facebook claiming the company refused her a refund and was also told it had a right to look through her items to ensure you're not lying about what's in your car. She now claims she fears for her life because an obviously very creepy man knows her address. Also, my other question, how, why, do you, why did you have condoms with you? So there I was. <laughs> Me and my girl, my best girl, we went to a Portland Timbers game and after they scored five goals, we just couldn't keep our hands off each other. <laughs> I was so I was, I was boning my, my girl, girlfriend. <laughs> I was I was boning my girlfriend, and then all of a and sudden, her makeup fell out on her, and she was like, "No way, there was no way." <laughs> <laughs> I love that character. He's like, "No way, no, no way." Don't you know? Uh, number one news story is w- Wendy's now sells Gator rolls, and. Fucking everybody sent me this goddamn story, including Rick, who's on the call with us. I was uh, gonna send it, but instead, I uh, I just commented on it with uh, the the other crazy Florida story. Yep. Uh, which we didn't, which which I didn't take, but we took this one. Uh, have you ever seen a flying alligator? A worker at a Wendy's drive-through did when a customer threw a three and a half foot gator into the window of the restaurant east of Loxa- Loxahatchee. Joshua James, 23, of Jupiter, is charged with aggravated Jupiter. assault. Jupiter! Jupiter! Uh, is really? charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, illegally killing, possessing, or capturing an alligator, and second-degree larceny, petty, 
petite theft, according to the story. It's illegal to, to kill an alligator? It's a also, certain size. It's illegal uh, to if, even if it gets to six feet one. tall, then you can kill it. It's illegal to even have one. Uh, the incident happened in October. He was arrested by U.S. Marshals. Uh, they were looking for a one-armed man, but they didn't. They just found him. Uh, James <laughs> pulled up to the drive through window for his order, got a drink from the employee, and then threw the gator to the restaurant. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission told the station. Yeah, that was it. Well, don't you guys understand? The the gator, he just wanted some chicken nuggets, and the guy was just like, all right, go. You got your own money here. Go get it. I just want some soup, motherfucker. I want I, I want a uh, God damn it, you don't have a McFlurry in, in this In Florida, if a gator gets to a certain size, let's say I think it's over six feet in length, they have to put it down because it's too... Too big. Much of, yeah, too big, and it'll start eating everything. Because it's oh. they, they recently just caught a gator that was, I think, eight feet long and weighed almost two tons. Jeez. Oh, I mean, all, all I can think about is uh, freaking Happy Gilmore, you know, and Stubbs. Yeah. <laughs> this they thing was huge. The, they kept you off the PGA Tour. Oh, no. I'm sorry, because you're black? Hell no! Damn alligator, pick my hand off! Like, either that or uh, throwing it back to Team Girl Squad, you know, just like, Gatord! <laughs> I know I would have yelled that if I threw an alligator at somebody. Just, Gatord! You just got Gatord. It's part of my new hidden camera show, Gatord! <laughs> Let's just hope this doesn't become a prank. Oh, oh God. Uh, this week in music, February 11th, titled to be announced by uh, Wanye Kest. Uh, February 12th. Is that Kanye West's uh, Spanish brother? Yes. Uh, February 12th, <laughs> Better Strange. Like Better Strange by St. James Supercave. Life Screams by Lacey Sturm, the ex singer of Flyleaf. Uh, My Wild West by Lissy. Two by McGrundergrind. Uh, Cardinal by Pine Grove. Synesthesia by Ra- Radiation City. Cynthia by the Jezebels. Give It Back to You by The Record Company. Skiffelin by The Skiffle Players. Winona and what the Big now? Noise. <laughs> you heard me. Winona and the Big no, Noise, self-titled. I, I had something crazy in my ear. Uh, Winona and the Big Noise by self-titled, or self-titled by Winona and the Big Noise, and then You Say Party, self-titled. It was Skiffelin by the Skiffle Players. I think the Skiffle, I actually, I think the Skiffle Players were on Broadway in One Man, Two Governors. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. That's not, that's not a joke, Bill. I mean, oh, the whole thing just kind of it's straight Family it Guy cutaway. Scoople. You know, like, it's a Fjord Fluber Johnson playing Spoople. Spoople! Uh, excuse me one second, guys. I'll be right back. Spoople! <laughs> that's okay, Peter. That time you play, that's how Spoople. <laughs> I really love it. Oh, you got hot pee all over your face! <laughs> hot pee? <laughs> I got hot to pee on me. Pika. Pikachu. Have you have you guys seen that video of the lady who does the voice of Pikachu? Yes, yes. She's just this tiny, adorable Japanese woman. If you know <laughs> what? Okay, if if you want to see Pikachu not say Pikachu, watch uh a show called uh Ah shit! Why can't I remember it now? It's it's this show about a fat round cat, and she does the voice of the cat, and it's hilarious. You know, I cannot believe I cannot believe that Mike missed this story. This is on my Facebook feed. Jeez, L- let me put it to you this way: the the title of this article is. A Wendy's worker arrested after using her vagina discharge as mayo. Ew! What the fuck did I come Uh, back to? Yep, I remember that story. Threw up in my mouth. Just Uh, this week in movies. I sent that to Hadley. This week in theaters. On February 12th. Deadpool! Starring Ryan Reynolds. Tina Carano, T.J. Yes. Miller, Ed Strain. I can't wait for that movie. I'd rather watch a with really, really good-looking people, a.k.a. Zoolander 2. Leslie Uggams, Brianna Hildebrand, and Jed Reese. Right. This, this movie, for anyone who doesn't know, 
It's skull poople. It's Deadpool. Former Special Forces operative turned mercenary is subjected to a rogue experiment that loses accelerated healing powers, adopting the alter ego Deadpool. And it has absolutely... So I was watching the Redbox trailer, which has all the nice um, swears. Also, for all you straight female and gay male fans of Ryan Reynolds, he fights an, in an, he fights full frontal nude. Ooh, <laughs> in this excited. movie at some point. All scarred up. And yeah, but does he look? Does he look as the one dude described? He looked like an avocado had sex with an older avocado. Yes, <laughs> pretty much what's going on. That's all it is. <laughs> You look like Freddy Krueger face-fucked a topographical map of Utah. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Uh, how, to be, <laughs> how to Be Single, starring Billy Carter... Sorry. How like to Be Riley. Single. <laughs> how to Be Single, starring Dakota Johnson, Alison Brie, Leslie Mann, Rebel Wilson, Carla Cavedo, Damon Wayans Jr., Jake Lazy, Jason Mansokas, uh, Nick Bateman, Andrews Holm, and Nicholas Braun. Yeah, that's... New York City is full of lonely hearts seeking the right match, and what Alice, Robin, Lucy, Meg, Tom, and David all have in common is that they need to learn how to be single in a world full of ever-evolving definitions of love. And Zoolander number two, starring yes. Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson, Christine Taylor, Will Ferrell, Penelope Cruz, Jonah Hill, Kristen Wiig, Olivia Munn, Billy Zane, Justin Bieber, uh, Fred Armisen, and Benadryl Clareton. I think they made a big mistake with this movie. By putting it up against Deadpool, yeah, absolutely. No, 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 no. The fact that they didn't just call it Two Lander. Oh. That was, I think, the original pun in which he was like Two Lander. <laughs> but anyway, says Derek and Hansel are modeling again when an opposing company attempts to take them out from the business. Yes. I can't oh. wait for this movie. I, it I, looks I, I do really want to see that. It's it gonna looks be ridiculous. It's it's gonna be a tough call between watching that and watching Deadpool this weekend for my Valentine's Day and anniversary with my girlfriend. Oh, your anniversary is Valentine's Day? Well, it's the day before. That's still really cute. Um, no, and my friend's birthday is actually the eleventh or twelfth. All right. My friend's birthday is, is, uh, shit, I want to say it's the 12th. This week in oh, video oh, games. On February 9th, Ars- Arslan, the Warriors of Legend for Windows, PS3, PS4, and Xbox One. Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia for Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. Assassin's Creed Chronicles Trilogy Pack for Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. Dying Light, the following for Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. Final Fantasy IX for iOS and Droid. Firewatch for Windows, Ooh. Mac, Linux, and PS4. Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time for PlayStation 4. Naruto Shippuden uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 for Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. Unravel for Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. On the 10th, Shin Megami Tensei 4 Final for 3DS. Valkyria Chronicles Remastered for PS4. February 11th, Oddworld New and Tasty Wii U. And that's it. You know, I really hope Shin Megami Tensei 4 Final comes to the United States. I really do, because I love that series. <laughs> I do notice we keep naming things that aren't released in the U.S. Well, well the lot was, opens it was on the Japan. List, so. Well, also, speaking of the <clears throat> Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4... you could If you pre-ordered, you got the uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm Super Special Ultimate Weeboo Edition... <laughs> is that what it's called? The Ultimate Weeaboo Edition? That's what my boyfriend and I have been referring to it as. If you did the pre order, that's what we keep referring to the pre order as the Ultimate Super Special Weeaboo Edition. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm calling him out a little bit here because he downloaded it today from Steam because he had oh. the pre order. <laughs> that's currently what he's doing, actually, is he's, he's at home playing that. Top 8 R rated comic book films. Deadpool cannot be cannot count. It's not out yet. Uh, Punisher. But it's going to be the best. Sin City. Punisher. Red. Sin, Sin City's Ooh, good. Sin Punisher's City. good. I forgot about Sin City. Sin City's good. Punisher's good. Dread's good. Rick, do you got one? Um, the remake, I do. not the uh, original. The original's a joke. I want to <laughs> say Akira. Okay. Ooh. I got one. Nice. I got and, one. And uh, I'm going to go with Watchmen. What do you got, Dan? Never mind. Oh, did I take yours? Yes. Sorry. 
I'll take a V for Vendetta. There you go. Oh, but V for Vendetta sucks. <laughs> just, just Sorry, my personal cut. opinion. It's not that bad. It has a guy from King Ralph. Just missing the cut. Uh, 2007's 300. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot that was a... Yeah. Uh, from hell, the- from hell, from two thousand one. I also forgot that that was freaking graphic novel. Kingsman: The Secret Service from last year. Oh, yes. I love that movie. It has butt an- sex. It has anal <laughs> sex. <laughs> anal <laughs> sex. Uh, <laughs> Gotta have in butt sex. <laughs> Secret agent butt sex. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why Pee Wee Herman was so excited about the butt sex. Ah! <laughs> the basic word is butt sex. Ah! Ah! You might even say. You might even say it. surprise butt sex. Remember, <laughs> remember, kids, if you're in an adult movie, don't jack off to it. <laughs> uh, kick ass from 2010. Oh yeah, kick ass. Word is sodomy. Road to Perdition. <laughs> this is crack. Uh, Road Ooh, to Perdition. Page, Shutter Island. Road to Perdition from 2002 is the other one. Are these and number eight. Missing the cut? That was just missing the cut, yes. K- number eight. Uh, Kick Ass was an interesting book, but I heard the movie changed too much. Uh, number eight, V for Vendetta, 2006. I have seen V for Vendetta. Right. Agent Smith. The best part about that movie is Hugo Weaving. Number seven, Ghost World, 2001. Decent movie. I think I saw that one. That has, what, Steve Buscemi and um, Thora uh, Birch? Thora Birch. Or, but yeah, I've seen that one. Starring Steve Buscemi and his teeth. Starring, <laughs> starring, <laughs> starring Steve, Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi and his eyes. Starring she, Steve Buscemi as my f- back deck. <laughs> uh, number six. He's a great actor, but God, is he hard to look at. Those eyes. I love the Photoshop gag of putting his eyes on other people. Steve Buscem <laughs> eyes. Like, there's just something about them. They're so, like, sunken in and bugged out at the same time. Uh, number I think six. Right. He looks like a lizard. Number six, <laughs> Sin City from 2005. Good one. Fun fact uh, voice actors in that movie, uh, the voice actor for the Psychos and Krieg in uh, Borderlands. Uh, plays one of the assassins who goes after Marv. Uh, the short one that Marv goes, you got a nice coat. Number five, A History of Violence, 2005. Mm, yeah, doesn't Viva Mortensen like, fight a dude naked in that movie? I think so, yes. <laughs> I didn't even see that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Number four is Dread. I've been watching Lord of the Rings again. God, man, everybody in this movie is stupidly attractive. Even the dwarf. <laughs> even the old guys. Number four, Dread from 2012. All right, such I'm on the board. Good, that's such a good movie. Number three, American Splendor from 2003. That mm. is a great, great movie. Number two, The Crow, 1994. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I, I love that movie. Brandon Lee's yes, last I movie. I swear to God, if anybody comes as The Crow, you're out of my party. I love that movie. <laughs> like, fat kids love cake. I knew Jace would get that. I love that movie. Like, goth kids love The Crow. Uh, number one, Watchmen, 2009. Okay. Uh, Watchmen nah. isn't that good. <laughs> what? Deedle-deedle-y. It's uh, the, the caveman from Harvey Birdman. Uh, uh, every time some sort of Judge penis Mitor. joke is mentioned. Judge Mitor. I know, I know the joke. I just don't know how it applied. Because <laughs> uh, of, uh, what's his name there? Uh, Dr. Manhattan. That was pretty much the only reason why that's R. I heard I, they didn't even mocap his penis. It's just like a completely fake computer generated penis. Uh, it is. It's not what Billy Zane's dick actually looks like. <laughs> and for that, I feel cheated. <laughs> as funny as Judge My Tour is, by the way, I still prefer Men Talk to Mind Taker. I, I, I like I like Men Talk. Get you Horby Birdman? It's just like how uh, you cannot beat uh, Reducto as the uh, prosecutor. Of course. Reducto was the better prosecutor. Hey, hey, Jace. Yep. Did you get that thing I sent you? You got that thing I sent you? <laughs> yes. you got. Hey, hey, I have Jace. a shrink gun. Hey, hey, hey yep. Jace. Yes. Ma- magic. Shut up, weirdo. 
Ah. Top eight. I have no oh, idea what Birdman kicked kick my ass. <laughs> Birdman kicked my ass. Uh, top Where's eight. Birdman on this list, huh? I missed that show. Top eight video is games. Is Birdman based on a comic book? No, but nope. DC Comics is bringing back uh, Hanna Barbera in modernized comics. Oh my god, have you seen the new gritty reboot of Scooby Doo? Yes. So cool looking. With hipster Shaggy. And Psycho. It's going to be a train wreck, and I'm going to love every issue of it. It's going to be so bad, and I'll probably buy the train. <laughs> uh, top 8 video game music videos. Oh. I don't know. Because... I'm just going to throw this one out there because I've seen it. Alan Wake. I have no clue who did it. I think it was the band that played the old gods of Asgard in the video game. Uh, the, oh, the music in the game. Oh, which of the fall. Yeah, I mean, like, the, the music in the game was phenomenal, the game was phenomenal, and the music video that I saw that involved all of it was pretty damn awesome, so I'm going with that. It's uh, the only one I can think of. There's a lot of Skyrim music videos, so in Skyrim. The only, the only one I can think of is <laughs> Haze by Korn. Uh, I'm going to go with Immortal by Edema. They did, that was uh, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. That is good, yeah. I don't even know what that question is asking me for. Video game music videos. That, like, music videos from bands that did work. They did work from video games, and it's like, these are game, music from video games. You know what, uh, you know what I know probably they didn't remember? That uh, song from Spy Hunter that Saliva did the cover of. Oh, yeah. I don't know, probably some Japanese weeaboo shit. <laughs> <laughs> or, or what was it, what was it, Tap? Uh, not tap root. Uh, yeah, tap root from uh, <laughs> root. Uh, Legends of Wrestling. Oh, God. <laughs> or um, God, who forget when Gigi Allen did the theme song to Keith? <laughs> uh, number eight, Haze yeah, by Corn. Uh, yeah. Number seven, Don't Deny Your Heart by Hot Chip. Hot Chip. Uh, number six. Visitor y Ventrello o Spelo D.O.T.A. by Bass Hunter, or Dota. Number five, Assassin's Creed 3 by Lindsay Sterling. Yes. I love Lindsay Sterling. She actually has a legitimate album out right now, and a book. Yeah. Number four, number four is Get Freaky by Music Instructor. This is for, uh, Odd World. Oh. <laughs> Odd World. It's Exodus. Number three, Immortal by Edema. Uh, number two, With My Mind by Cold. It's for PsyOps. Uh, cold. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. Number one is War by Poets of the Fall. Nice. So hey. Taproot didn't get on there. Uh, I'm angry Neither that Atreyu. I'm so yeah. upset. I'm angry that Taproot and, and, and Atreyu didn't get on there. Atreyu. Atreyu. We're going Every, down, I'm buddy. I'm not the only one who went straight to us. Uh, Every <laughs> person that That's I knew. Wrong. Every person That's that I ever knew that I listened when they with those with those bands right there. You know where. The in thing. It was all like nine year old boys. <laughs> it's all that ever listened to that. Right, I, so I, I worked at a music shop. For some reason, before I, I just went to the Cleveland show gag. Your face looks like a book. Right? Your face looks like a book. And you so, slept uh, with a man. Have, and you slept with a man. <laughs> we do have a couple of unfortunate pieces of news to get. Uh, ooh, excuse me, to get to. First, uh, the founder of Earth, Wind, and Fire, Maurice White, passed away yep. at the age of 74, Wednesday, at his home in Los he, Angeles. He did music for Gatchaman. He yeah. did. This is true. Uh, so, yeah, they, their first top 40 hit was Mighty Mighty. Mighty Mighty. It was so well known for songs such as uh, Shining Star and Boogie Wonderland and, of course, September. He, um... Apparently, he had been battling with Parkinson's disease since the 80s. Yes. Wow. Still was able to perform. 
uh, our other our other unfortunate death is that of uh, Daffy Duck voice actor Joe Alasky. He uh, passed away at the age of sixty three. Um, he took over for uh, a lot of the Looney Tunes cartoons after Mel Blanc passed away in nineteen eighty nine. Yeah. Uh, he was also Grandpa Pickles on Rugrats. Fifteen yes. miles. Yep. This one is called Space Vixens. Uh, that's for after you go to bed. Now this one's called Space Vixens. That's for after you youngins go to bed. Uh, he thank was, you, he, thank he, you very much, Bill, for repeating almost word for word my joke. I know. <laughs> uh, he is also Mermaid Man in the SpongeBob games. Well, yeah, because not in the cause, cartoon. Uh, what's well, no, his name from the cartoon? In the cartoon, it was Charles Nelson Riley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Ernest Borgnine. Yes. <laughs> so Adele is officially the best-selling artist of 2015. What was I watching? And there was some character who's doing a voice. I'm like, this bitch sounds like Charles Nelson Riley. And I can't remember who I made the... And then I explained it to someone who Charles Nelson Riley was. Was it the Dirty uh, Adele, Bubble? Roger from... No, I uh, want to say it was like a freaking yeah. anime or something. <laughs> uh, Adele, who broke records with the song Hello and latest album 25, was, original, it was officially the biggest selling artist of 2015. The uh, International Federation of the Phonographic Industry said that the British singer was the top selling musical act last year based on worldwide sales of recordings. Uh, Adele achieved defeat for the full year, even though she did not release 25 until the November until November 20th, and <laughs> declined to put the album on streaming sites. A rare move at a time when such on-demand services are growing rapidly. Well, you see, if you don't do that, and you're an artist like her, people will go out and buy your stuff. If you put out quality, people yeah. will buy your stuff. If you put out one good song and the rest of your album is crap. Nobody's going to buy your stuff. They're just going to download the one song. This is also another chance for me to uh, tell you to go check out Leo Maraccioli, Frog Lake Studios on YouTube. He did a cover of Adele's Hello, which is amazing. He also does and that song movies. is parodied so much. Uh, he he just recently put out a cover of Wannabe by Spice Girls, so check that out. That's uh, Frog Lake Studios on YouTube. Ah, yes. CBS has ordered a uh, MacGyver reboot. <laughs> what? There yeah. better be mullets involved. Yes. <laughs> Tons of mullets. Just mullets everywhere. Even uh, Everybody's got a mullet. Even the camera. MacGyver is a reimagining of the 80s television series of the same name following on 20-something MacGyver as he gets recruited into a clandestine organization where he uses his knack for solving problems in unconventional ways to help prevent disasters from happening. The man Speaking. could make a nuclear weapon out of a rubber band and a toothpick. Uh, Speaking of uh, CBS and reboots... Rush Hour, anyone, in March? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I saw that, and uh, it's not going to be as good as the movies. I'm going to still watch it anyway, because I love Rush Hour. Same here. You know, I mean, the original producers and the producer behind uh, Scrubs are I working on it. I want to see if they're going to be able to get more out of the stories than the original three movies did. It's, it's going to be interesting. I mean, it feels yeah. like it would make a great one-season, one-off show. Yeah. Uh, you know... Whether or not it can make the cut and do more than one season, we'll see how that lasts. Because yeah. it's coming pretty late into the uh, spring already. Uh, James Wan, by the way, will be directing the pilot of MacGyver. James Wan, uh, who is the director of the Saw franchise and Furious 7. Huh. Didn't he also direct uh, the uh, the Repo movie, too? Yep. Yes. So, yeah. Didn't he also direct The Conjuring? I uh, believe so. So this guy's good, then. And, in yeah. City, and Insidious, for that matter. Uh, sure. Streaming Super Bowl 50 was a popular method to watch the big game, as CBS reported record audience streaming uh, Sunday night. Uh, according to Recode, the network has yet to release specific numbers, but this year's figure likely eclipsed NBC streaming stats from 2015. Super Bowl, uh, whatever number that 50. is, XLIX, I guess that's 49, brought in... 50. 50. Uh, XLIX, oh, XLIX is, is 49, 49, Billy. Uh, brought in a streaming average of 800,000 viewers per minute. We're talking about last year's Super Bowl. Oh. Uh, it brought in 800,000 viewers a minute, 1.3 million concurrent users, 213 million minutes in total view time. This year's and Super Bowl was easier to stream than ever before. CBS made it available via CBS Sports app, including uh, Roku, Xbox One, and Apple TV. 
you know, so you could see the players just standing there on the field during the commercial breaks. And uh, <laughs> there was also some weird commercials. Did anybody see the Super Bowl commercials? Cause I <laughs> Puppy Monkey Baby. Puppy Monkey oh. Baby. Oh, my God. I no. saw some of them. Puppy okay. Monkey Baby made my freaking skin crawl. I saw I that one. It. That was creepy as hell. I think by far the funniest one and probably the only other one I've seen was the Amazon Echo one with uh, Alec Baldwin and Jason Schwartzman and a bunch of other people. I liked the uh, I liked the Super Bowl babies. I'm surprised you didn't <laughs> like the, the, the uh, NFL is family. Apparently, there was one like with Christopher Walken nine in it. After the, the after the Super Bowl, the winning team's hometown sees an increase I'm, in babies. I'm surprised Dane didn't uh, see the one with Christopher Walken in it. <laughs> there was a car commercial where Christopher Walken was in a walk-in I didn't think closet. It was Christopher Walken, I thought it was Willem Dafoe. Christopher Walken. In the Snickers commercial? No, no that's Willem Dafoe in the Snickers. Yeah, was, that, that was, I was there about was, to say, that was, that was Willem Dafoe. I'm talking about a different car commercial. It had Christopher Walken in it. Really? Yeah. I've heard a commercial and I know, that Christopher Walken definitely look, narrated. I know it was Christopher Walken because it was a walk-in closet that he was in. Wow. Yes. See, you get it. Joke. It's a walk-in closet. It's a walk-in uh, closet. <laughs> The Doritos commercial, one in where the guy's standing there, his wife's getting an ultrasound. I laughed my head off at that one. I'm actually going to tape a picture of Christopher Walken to the Walken uh, freezer at work before I leave. <laughs> walk-in freezer. You won't be walk-in walking out. Freezer. You won't be walking out. I'm going to hit you with a Saturn iron. They did that at the Wendy's I worked at. They had Christopher Walken on the Walken freezer. I looked and, up, and dude. I, I looked heard up about this. Hold on. I think it's oh, you, know, you beat me to the punch. I was about to. I was about to break. Oh yeah, the the yeah the Netflix comedy about Hitler. I saw that. It's actually no. no. Hitler. Hitler. They tried to do this in like the fifties or the sixties, and it didn't work. Are you, about Heil, are you talking about Heil Hitler? I'm home. Yeah. Heil, honey. Oh, Heil, Heil, honey. I'm home. This is. This is called Look Who's Back, based on, it's actually based on a book called Ir East Viderda. No. So, no. let's face it, uh, the, so, the King in High Tower or High Castle or something was so controversial and did so well for Amazon, Netflix is like, let's hop on oh the Hitler Lord. bandwagon. So, <laughs> I, uh, I googled Puppy Monkey Freezing. Baby. Hold on, I, go, I, poop, I poopled. I googled. <laughs> I poopled. <laughs> I googled <laughs> Puppy Monkey. I googled Puppy Monkey Baby, and the first thing that came up was a weird was a mental news story that apparently slipped through the cracks. I didn't see it. From Voorhees Township in New Jersey, Voorhees police take shoplifting very seriously, and no one, not even a dog, primate, and human hybrid, is free to take what they want. Fresh off its debut on one of the Super Bowl's more memorable commercials, Puppy Monkey Baby was arrested in Voorhees. Oh dear God! Of course, at least in New Jersey. The, at least according to the like Facebook the page, uh, there's the picture of pu- Puppy Monkey Baby under arrest. Uh, hey, it's right back. Mount you. <laughs> it's right back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The thing is the ugliest thing I've like. And then the commercial's like, awesome things combined into awesome. And I'm like, nothing is awesome about babies, you guys. It reminds me of an Ewok. Puppy monkey baby. It reminds me of something that should you should take a blowtorch to it. Puppy monkey baby. Kill it with fire indeed. Monkey baby. Puppy monkey baby. Puppy monkey baby. You know, actually, it reminds me of like one of the creatures from The Thing. You just, like it's changing between <laughs> the fucking that great moment. You gotta be fucking kidding. When I first saw the commercial, I saw it like two days before it was on YouTube, and I I sat there. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> and then it's Puppy he, Monkey. Bill messages me on Facebook. He's like, look at this, and he's like, sending me what pictures of it. It's like, oh, somebody kill it. Please kill it. Kill it with fire. Kill it. That was, that was like this. I said, this is going to be the commercial that everybody's going to remember. <laughs> closet. You better Clean wear it these beige closet. socks. All right. So. <clears throat> there was a, you missed some music news. Uh, no, I didn't. 
Because I see what Rick put in the chat. I don't think I missed the thing. No, not that. <laughs> oh. Rapper what? DMX rapper DMX was found unresponsive in. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to put too many drag down stories in. We already had the two deaths, so I didn't want to put that in. There. Oh no, is I'm, DMX I'm still die? shocked. That we he's didn't... okay. He's he, okay, he... but it's still a drag down story. I, I, I'm surprised that uh, what you call it the 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 Florida guy with the uh, the the pipe and the sword didn't make it in there. That's normal. Uh, <laughs> That's Florida, yo. <laughs> the Apple. Apple has rejected the Binding of Isaac Rebirth from a releasing on its iOS app store, citing Ooh. violence and abuse towards children as the reason why. Ha! Tyrone, Let's face it, it's hilarious that this game is available on Nintendo and, and not, not available iOS. on Apple. Tyrone yeah. Rodriguez, the game's producer, tweeted a photo of the rejection letter with the caption, Come on, what the fuck, Apple? Uh, neither Rodriguez or creator Edmund McMillan have announced the uh, game's mobile release, though Rodriguez continues to tease its existence, tweeting out a photo, photo of McMillan playing Binding of Isaac on an unidentified tablet. Nintendo originally refused to release it on the 3DS eShop back in 2012 due to the game's religious, uh, questionable religious content. They eventually conceded and released the Binding of Isaac Rebirth to Wii U and 3DS in 2015. Uh, Rebirth re- uh, launched November 4, 2014. Uh, the add-on DLC Afterbirth came out uh, just this past November. Yeah, and it's really good. Okay, <laughs> well, <laughs> fuck that story then. This thing that happened in Well, well. Well, 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 did you say go tell it on my anus? Yes. Go tell it on my anus. So I'm, it said I'm, I want to, I got a text saying I want to sing, but it's like, call us before 9 o'clock at 8 o'clock. And I'm like, well, fuck you, I'm in class. Yo, you <laughs> fucking <laughs> asshole. Yo, <bro. laughs> that's, uh, that's a little shitty. But the text came, they, they included a number in the text, but the text came from 313131. Uh, three one three one three one three one three one three. I'm gonna go with me possibly being scammed here. But what? I'm not gonna call them. Uh, I wouldn't. I'm, I'm not. I wouldn't. Because well, I wouldn't either. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna delete that. Text. But why exact? But well, why are they saying to to call you though? Oh, it says I won. Um, you have been selected for a bridal gift package. And I'm not even getting married, so... Yeah, don't, 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 don't. I mean, admittedly, I went to a bridal show and told everyone I was getting married because free shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And also, hopefully, I will be planning a wedding within the next year and a half. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hopefully. All right. So, here we go, folks. It's home stretch time. This oh, is Joker Jeopardy! Let's introduce our three contestants. First, uh, an actor from You Can't Be Serious. Uh, or from, no, well, actually, he's not from You Can't Be Serious. A regular on the Mental Cast and MMOG Gaming from Connecticut, Rick Terassi. And, and Russell Rips. And Russell Rips, yes, yep. this is true. Next, a regular cast member on the Mental Cast and You Can't Be Serious from Virginia Beach, Virginia, Chelsea Tarkington. And <laughs> our returning champion, an Actor from Boston, Massachusetts, Jace Deace, whose three-week cash winnings total $123,599. Uh, i just like to point out that I, I like how Mike's announcer voice was morphing into Nathan Lane. How long? I, I was trying to be Johnny Gilbert, but it's I know, but it sounded more like Nathan Lane. Instead, Nathan Lane. Jace Deace! <laughs> No, stop! Get away from my husband! <laughs> I'll give you a dollar if you do the rest of the show as Snagglepuss. Thanks, it's stage right. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> 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 
You're beautiful, even. <laughs> uh, so, just a refresher course, because we do have somebody new playing the game. It's a combination of Jeopardy and Joker's Wild. When it's your turn, I'll be spinning the wheel for you and giving you the selection of categories you can choose from, uh, from the six available in that round. Plus, there's Jokers on the wheel, as always. Uh, of course, a, a single category is worth uh, face value of the clue amount. A pair is worth double. Triples are worth triple. Natural triples are worth three and a half times the value. If you roll Joker, 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 you'll be allowed to pick any clue from any category uh, for four times that amount. Uh, daily doubles function as normal, uh, as they usually do. Uh, that's the only time you can lose money, by the way, is uh, during the daily doubles. Final Jeopardy is played as normal, of course. Uh, and, of course, when you hear this sound, that is the end of the round, and we'll be moving on to the next round. Each round has a time limit. The first round has 15 minutes on it. Uh, Jace, you'll be going first, and the time will start when you pick from your first category. The categories in this round are You Can't Be Serious, Double Talk, States That Flow Together. Each correct response will be two states, and the last letter of one state will be the first letter of the adjoining state. Nicktoons, Clowns, and YouTubers. Those are your categories for the first round of play. Uh, with that in mind, let's get started with Jace's first categories. And they are States That Flow Together, Joker, YouTubers. Uh, let's go Joker, Nicktoons. Okay, Start, starting out uh, with $200. This Nicktoon was snapped up by Disney in 1996. What is Doug? That is correct. Let me get the right color marked off on that. There we go. All right. Chelsea, for you. Let me get this randomized here. Joker, Joker, double talk. Let's go, Joker, Joker, double talk! Jesus. All right. For six. <laughs> easy. For 600. <laughs> cheerleaders. I'm pumped! Cheerleaders know that it traditionally precedes Sis Boom Ba. What is Ra Ra? That is correct. Rick, you can't be serious. Joker, states that flow together. Joker, YouTubers. For 200, this pair caused a lot of controversy when they attempted to trademark the word react. <laughs> Even I know that one. <laughs> And I don't, YouTube. Who are the Fine Brothers? That's correct. Beep 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 bong. Did you miss Jace. that whole story there, Rick? Jace, states that flow together. Joker, you can't be serious. Uh, Joker, you can't be serious. All right. For 400, this was the game being played when Mark Gledhill called Jeremy Garcia a Latino that needs to be shot. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, that could be any number of games, actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, we all know Mark's the least racist butt <laughs> Um, What is... Party Quirks? That is incorrect. Chelsea? What is... You've got mail. <laughs> <laughs> no, what is... Um... What is Boring Scene? Nope. Rick? Um, what is, um, oh my god, I can't remember it. Um, yeah. Uh, what is film and theater styles? Ah. Uh, film and theater styles. All right, Chelsea. Joker, states that flow together, Nicktoons. <sighs> Joker, Nicktoons. All right. This original Nicktoon received a poorly received adult spinoff in 2003. What is... Well, I don't know if it was adult, but what is Rugrats All Grown Up? That is incorrect. Rick? What is Ren, Ren and Stimpy? That is correct. Rick, for you. I just you, remember there was a shitty reboot. YouTubers, you know, YouTubers Joker, states that flow together. Uh, Joker, Nicktoons. Greg Berger was the voice of this head monster on Ah Real Monsters. Who is Ickes? Incorrect. Jace. Who is the Grumble? That is correct. Oh. Jace. Nicktoons, Joker, YouTubers. Joker, Nicktoons. 
All right. This an- the animated sketch comedy show Kablam was hosted by this animated duo. Who are Henry and June? That is correct. I knew only one of those. Yeah. Chelsea. Clowns. 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 Joker. Joker. <laughs> Joker. Joker. Clowns. DC Comics dubbed this character the Crown Prince of Crime. Crown Prince? I, Crown well, I Prince. think that's the... <laughs> Who, who is, what is, who is, and what is the Joker? That is correct. Rick. <laughs> what is the, jo- the, the Joker? <laughs> Rick. <laughs> Holy jo- midnight. Timer. Joker, YouTubers, Nicktoons. Rick. Uh, YouTubers. This Ohio native is well known for his charity streams and his pink mustache. <laughs> <laughs> who in the hell is Michael Riley? That's incorrect. Jace. Who the fuck is... YouTube YouTuberson. In incorrect. Chelsea. Who is your mom? No. Who is Markiplier, guys? Come I didn't even knew that one. I didn't even know what the question yeah. was. I, I don't watch YouTubers. <laughs> well that's a good that's a bad category for you then, isn't it? Yeah. Uh Jace, Joker <laughs> Nicktoons Clowns. Joker Nicktoons. The only the only one of the original Nicktoons to, surp- to survive past 2000 was the second longest running Nicktoon of all time. Second longest running Nicktoon of all time. Um, what is Rugrats? That is correct. Notice that the question said original Nicktoons. SpongeBob is the longest running, but it's not an original. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Fairly Odd Parents is, what, third longest, I think now? Yes, third longest. Yeah. Uh, so, that category's gone, Nicktoons category, so I'm getting rid of it. Give me one sec to do that. It's okay, it won't take long. And boom! And we're on Chelsea now, I think? Yeah, we're on Chelsea now. Double talk, Joker, Joker. Okay. Uh, Joker, Joker, double talk. In 1983, there was no harmony at this New York prison when inmates rioted over poor conditions. What is Sing Sing? That is correct. Rick, for you. Joker, double talk, Joker. Uh, Joker clowns. Cam becomes Fizbo, the ass-kicking clown that'll twist you like a balloon animal on this ABC sitcom. Who is only the clown? I don't know. No. Jace? Who's butt kicky the clown? No. Chelsea. What is Modern Family? Modern Family. We're looking for the show, guys. I knew that one because I saw that episode. <laughs> I didn't know that one at all, but I knew that the ABC comedy had a character named Cam was Modern Family. All right. Jace, Joker, Joker, YouTubers. Ah, uh, God. Uh, Joker, uh, Clowns. On In Living Color, this Damon Wayne clown, don't play that. Who is homie don't play that? That's correct. God damn it. <laughs> he knew it was going to be in there somewhere. <laughs> oh. Chelsea, for you. You can't be serious. Double talk, Joker. What is uh, double <laughs> talk, Joker? What is double talk, Joker? Uh, in an 80s hit, it proceeds, keep it down now, voices carry. What is hush, hush? That's correct. Keep it down now, voices carry. All right, Rick, you can't be serious, Joker clowns. Clowns. This song begins, isn't it rich? Are we a pair? Me here at last on the ground, you in midair. Uh, pass. Jace. There. Chelsea. What is Send in the Clowns that from? Is correct. Uh, I believe it's from A Little Night Music as well. Yes, that, is, uh, that is correct. No extra points for that, though. Ah, well, <laughs> I was still sucking up. Jace, <laughs> states that flow together, Joker clowns. Uh, 
<sighs> Clowns. In 1988, John Vernon, the dean from Animal House, found more than 0.0 killer clowns from here. Where is outer space? That is correct. <laughs> That's on the. That was a thousand dollar clue on the actual show, by the way. I didn't write that. Wow! Strange that that was that, that seemed a little easy for a thousand dollar clue. Uh, that cl- that that's gone that category. So uh, let me just uh, get rid of that real quick here from the from the thingy remember. Randomize. All right, Chelsea. Joker. Joker. States that flow together. Why don't we try the states that flow together thing? Joker, Joker, states that flow together. One has St. Louis. The other has East St. Louis. Okay. What is... Um... Uh... I don't know. Rick? I think I get it. Uh... Yes. Jace? Bah. What, whatever. <laughs> oh, you don't know? Nah, I'm... I'm... J- I think me thinks Jace is throwing on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Jace is tired of being on the mental So, cast. the last letter of one state is the first letter of the adjoining state. So, one is Missouri, and the other is Illinois. Oh! That's the, uh, now, I think I that you... It. Now that you know how the category works, you'll know hopefully better for next time. So, Rick, for you, YouTubers, you can't be serious. YouTubers. YouTubers. <sighs> This Booper Duper Irish born YouTuber has a mascot named Sam, a green and blue eyeball. Hang on. This... I don't know. All right, Jace? Who is my anus? No, <laughs> Chelsea. Random guess. Is it Jack Septicai? Who is Jack Septicai? That is correct. Ah, I only know that because of this. The, the one time we tried to get the uh, genie guessing thing to guess you, and it just started naming random YouTubers. Uh. Oh. Jace, YouTubers, states that flow together, you can't be serious. Uh, two states that flow together. Hoover Dam is on their border. Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam. Uh, fuck. Mm, where is Nevada and Arizona? That's correct. Oh, shit. Hard one. I get it. Uh, Chelsea, Joker, you can't be serious. You can't be serious. I guess we're going Joker. You can't be serious. It was the game that was being played when Michelle Light remarked for the first time that she couldn't show the show to her parents. What is, um, shit, I don't know. Uh, Party Quirks? Incorrect. Rick? I don't know. Yeah. He doesn't watch the show. Jace? Damn it, Rick. What is, uh, weird newscasters? No, what is inner monologue? Inner monologue was the game. Uh, Rick, Joker, Joker YouTubers. Uh, Joker YouTubers. Don't egg on this Canadian-born YouTuber who is most known for his series of videos on the Binding of Isaac. No clue. Jace? Uh, Bindy McIserson. No. Chelsea? (laughs) Who's Michael Riley? No. Canadian-born... Who is Northern Lion? It's getting harder in the category listings there. All right. Uh, who was Whose question was that? Uh, it was Rick. So, Jace, Joker, Joker, Double Talk. Uh, let's do Double Talk. At FoodNetwork.com, recipes for this fish include macanamia, nut-crusted, and grilled tacos. What is mahi-mahi? That is correct. Mm. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, bye, che- bye. Chelsea, double talk, YouTubers, you can't be serious. Uh, let's go double talk. I've been doing pretty well with that. All right, German health plans cover visits to a spa, including this one at the foothills of the Black Forest. What? You heard me. I have no freaking clue. Rick? Uh, don't know. Jace? Yeah. Uh, what is Baden Baden? Baden Baden. Baden Baden. It's funny. I know a guy whose last name is that too. 
Uh, and Dane asked me if I could send him a list of the You Can't Be Serious questions. I, I actually can't because of the way they're formatted, so I'm sorry. Um, the way I have I have them formatted like a Jeopardy board, so I didn't have, I'd have to send you the whole thing. Uh, so, Rick, Joker, You Can't Be Serious, YouTubers. Uh, Joker, Double Talk. Uh, oh, Double Talk is gone. I'm sorry. Oh. Hold on a second, because I do have to reset the list. So I'm, you're going to get a, a new spin, because I forgot to do that. My bad. Uh, reset. Start. Get rid of double talk. And I set fire to the rain. All right. Now, for you, Rick, you can't be serious. Joker, you can't be serious. You can't be serious. It's the game that's been played the most often since the show's revival. Newscasters? No, Jace. Uh, what is... Irish Drinking Song. That is correct. I was going to say, it's probably one of the host games, because we always do Irish Drinking Song. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Uh, Chelsea, YouTubers Joker Joker. What do we still have? Uh, besides YouTubers, we still have You Can't Be Serious and States That Flow Together. Balls. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess. All of those things. And we will try the States That Flow Together. Why not? Okay. The, the state where Martin Luther King Jr. was born and the state where he married Corietta, or Coretta Scott. Um. Uh, I have no idea on either of those locations. I'm a terrible, and it's Black History Month. I should go educate myself. Rick? Where is Atlanta, Georgia? Uh, no, we're looking for two states, but Jace? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's Alabama and Georgia. Uh, that's the end of the first round. We uh, left the Daily Wait, Double thought- up there. So it's Georgia. It was the first one, Al- and then Alabama. Alabama, Georgia. Yes. We just, had him, we just had him backwards in the question to, to try to trip you off. Well, that's that's messed up because I knew one of them was Georgia, but I couldn't think of any states that ended well, in that's, G. That's actually one of the uh, that's one of the uh, categories that was on the show. So you have to take it. Wyoming. <laughs> ah, there we go. Uh, in any event. Uh, so, at the end of one round right now, Rick is in third with 2,000. Chelsea's got 7,200 in second place. Jace is leading with 10,200. Uh, so, really kind of no difference from any other <laughs> Jeopardy Is Jace winning, like, horribly? Yeah, Jace is winning by, like, three grand. So, Jesus uh, Christ. Like, what, I mean, <laughs> what did you expect? With, with his 723 week total... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's the uh, Ken Jennings. In fact, we're going to have to fire Chelsea and Billy and make Jace the new regular. No! <laughs> no I'm not doing that. That's That would be cruel. I'm not doing that. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm the unofficial regular. I'm the irregular. <laughs> yeah, you should take some fiber then. Uh, <laughs> Seriously, though, at which point do we just make Jace officially a regular? I don't know. I, I'm what? contemplating that myself. <laughs> I mean, so, uh, first, round first two. All, he has to give Mike an open mouthed kiss. Round two is a, round two is a coming up. Of obviously, uh, he team. does though. It's true. We we all did it. <laughs> round two is a coming up. Dollar values doubled, of course. Uh, two, <laughs> d- two daily doubles in this round. There's a little bit of a distance issue there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> two yeah. daily doubles. Hey, I live in freaking Virginia. Uh, and somehow that happened. Fair enough. Uh, two daily oh, doubles. Damn it, damn it, Mike, don't you dare no sell this joke. You, two daily you know, doubles, and it's a ten minute round of play. <laughs> <laughs> you know damn well I tasted like Skittles that day. <laughs> you couldn't even finish that joke. Uh, categories. Rick's going to go first in, in in this round since he's in I'm last. Uh, first, ca- The categories are World Capitals, Number One Songs, Flat Things, Mental Before and After, Indie games and C to C. Each correct response begins with C and ends with C. Uh, oh. Mental before and after. You remember the before and after category we had last time, right? Revolutionary War before and after. This is the same. 
So it's the before and after category and Wheel of Fortune put into Jeopardy. So keep that in mind as you're as you're hearing these clues. All right. So we're starting with Rick, and time will start when he picks his first category: C to C Joker World Capitals. Rick, World Capitals. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. While Sydney is the largest city in Australia, it's not the capital. This city is. Oh, that. Uh, what? Um, where is Kenabara? I'll accept. Kenbara is the correct answer. Jace, C to C, Joker, mental before and after. Oh, I love before and afters. Uh, I'll go with C to C. It can mean universal or refer to a particular Christian denomination. What is Catholic? That is correct. All right, Chelsea, for you, we have World Capitals, Joker, number one songs. Let's go, Joker, World Capitals. The capital of this country and member of the European Union sprouted in around 580 A.D. Sprouted. That's the clue. Oh, what is Brussels? And the Uh, country is, what is Belgium? What is Belgium, yes. I was about to call you wrong, and then you saved it at the last second there. (laughs) Wait, we're asking for the country. It's Belgium. It's freaking Belgium. I got it. Brussels, Sprouts. That was terrible, Jeff. All right. That's just awful. (laughs) Your pun is bad, and you should feel (laughs) bad. Rick, flat things, flat things, indie games. (laughs) Uh, let's try flat things. Hell yeah, let's try flat things. Uh, alkali flats, like the ones named for Mr. Bonneville, are, have a high very... Uh, alkali flats, like the ones named for Mr. Bonneville, have very high concentrations of this, NaCl. Ooh. I have no idea, pass. Jace. Uh, repeat it? Please. Alkali flats, like the one named for Mr. Bonneville, have very high concentrations of this in ACL. What is salt? That's correct. Table salt, motherfucker. Held together by ionic bonds. Jace, number one songs, Joker, Flat Things. Uh, let's do uh, number one songs. In 2013 and 2014, this rapper had a monster hit with The Monster with Rihanna. Oh, shit. Uh, Who's Eminem? That is correct. Yes! No, really, who is he? (laughs) Chelsea. Marshall Mathers. Chelsea, Joker, Joker, Joker! Ding, 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 ding! All right, you get to pick... You get to pick a category and a clue from any of those categories. Any any clue from that category. Which category? I want to do all of the monies... For mental, is it before the before mental and after? Before and after. So, which clue do you want? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, or two thousand? Let's go to two thousand. Two thousand. All right. So it's worth six thousand to you, and Chelsea is the only one that may answer this question. Aha! It's going to be two thousand, and I'll give it to Jace. <laughs> the super villain, the super villain from Shazam, who is also the resident Wisconsinite on You Can't Be Serious. Who is black? Adam Winkleman? <laughs> That's correct. Sweet. <laughs> well, I, I didn't think about Adam what his Winkleman. last name was for a second. Black Adam Winkleman. I was to say Black Adam Flossman, but it's not his last name. It's Black Winkleman. Adam Winkleman. <laughs> I knew Black Adam, so I was like, alright, it's Black Adam. Who do, who's that, Adam Has anybody realized yet that it's Black Adam Winkleman? <laughs> <laughs> alright. Uh, Rick. Indie Who's going to in- tell his parents? Rick, yeah, Indie yeah. Games, number one songs, Indie Games. Uh, number one songs. In 1973, this brother and sister duo were on top of the charts with On Top of the World. Um, who are Donnie and Marie? No, Jace. Who are the Carpenters? That is right. That's enough. Oh. All right, Jace. Uh, mental before and after indie games number one songs. Uh, indie games. Brace yourself, games is the Canadian developer of this roguelike rhythm game. 
Brace yourself, games. Uh, what is, uh, shit, I can't remember. Go right ahead, man. Chelsea? Next. What was the question? Brace Yourself Games is the Canadian developer of this roguelike rhythm game. What is, I don't know, what is Elite Beat Agents? Nope. Rick? What is Crypt of the Necrodancer? That is correct. Oh, shit. Chelsea? Number one songs, number one songs, Mental Before and After. Ah, hell, let's go number one songs. In 1971, this soulful man followed up Tired of Being Alone with the number one hit, Let's Stay Together. Who is Al Green? That is correct. Let's stay together. Uh, Rick. Flat things, world capitals, world capitals. I love that the category is called flat things, you guys. <laughs> world capitals. While this is the capital of the Netherlands, its seat of government is in The Hague. Um. Ugh, pass. Jace. Uh, repeat it. While this is the capital of the Netherlands, its seat of government is in The Hague. Oh, God damn it. Uh, where is Amsterdam? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <coughs> and Rick Dillon. realized it when, he gave it when he gave it to you. Number one songs, world capitals, flat things, Jace. Uh... Let's do flat things. Touting the Zetetic method, this society believes our planet is not spherical. What is the Flat Earth Society? That is correct. I still think they're stupid. <laughs> and who can blame you? Chelsea. Uh, Joker, mental before and after Joker. What is... <laughs> <laughs> What is? Sorry, I'm trying to answer the question before you give it to me. Joker, uh, mental, let's before go mental before and after. Those are uh, funny. Uh, our favorite Adam Sandler extra fronting the 90s band responsible for Beautiful Life. Who is Jace the Ace of Base? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, oh my, my god. god. So you wrote these yourself, Mike. These are I wrote great. That, yeah, I wrote that dude. one. I wrote the category myself. Uh, Rick, indie games, Joker, Joker. These are great. Uh, Joker songs. Joker number one songs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this reggae group does well with their covers. Their versions of Red Wed Wine and Can't Help Falling in Love hit number one. Who is UB40? That's correct. No, would you be 40? <laughs> you too. I'd be 28. <laughs> Rick, yeah. uh, Jace. Oh, you 182. Jace, Joker, Mental Before and After, number one songs. Uh, number one songs. All right. It is my belief that this Scott Stapp rock group had a number one hit with the 2000 song With Arms Wide Open. <laughs> what is Creed? That's correct. <laughs> Uh, number one songs is done for it. So that You're category is no longer in play. Yeah. Uh, Chelsea, in- Joker, Indie Games, Joker. <laughs> Joker right up the jack seat. Excuse me? It's not a Joker, Joker before and after, because it's funny. A brand of whiskey who currently resides in Nanaimo, British Columbia. What is Maker's Mark Glen Hill? That's correct. <laughs> oh my god, I love this category so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, this All is right, brilliant. Under, under a minute to go, Rick, Joker, Joker, Joker. Ding, 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 ding. So what category do you want? In the games. And for how much? 8, 12, 16, or 2,000? 12. All right. Uh, it makes it for 4800 if you get it right. This cult hit developed in Vietnam saw controversy when its creator removed the app from stores, citing overuse. Oh. Oh, man. Uh, 
Uh, what is... Uh, oh, um... <laughs> ah, damn it, pass. Uh, what is Flappy Bird? Time is up. We didn't get to any daily doubles. I'm actually surprised. We left wow. two, both daily doubles up there this, this round. So, we got a really absolutely close game. This is amazing. Okay, so Rick is in third with 6,400, which is, which is good. Which is good. Chelsea's in second with 20,000 even. Jace is in the lead with 20,400. We have an insanely close game. Dang. And uh, it, it, if it weren't for that, the category for Final Jeopardy is authors. So I want you to Ooh. send me send me your wagers in private message, of course, in a one-on-one private message uh, as we get ready for this game. Uh, I can't wait to show you the rest of the book. There's only two clues left in the mental before and after, but I can't wait to share them with you because I think they're both pretty funny. I'm uh, doing what I do every time, Mike. I'm wagering it all. Yeah, I see that. Oh, shit. Because because of two reasons. The thing one, is, I'm, you one put, I'm going to be on next week no matter what. And two, go big or go home. Uh, yeah, you put Jason. You that puts Jason really precarious position because he's got to wager big also now in order to have a chance on the off chance that I actually get it right. Yeah, just uh, just one more wager. We're waiting for Ricks now. Already sent it. Did you? Yeah. God, Mike, pay hand? attention. How come it's not showing up on my thing here? It's not showing up in my Skype for some reason. Did you put it in the group chat by accident, Rick? No, nah, it's not in the group chat because I would have seen it. I don't have it. I don't have it. It hasn't shown up for me yet. Turkey gerb. Oh, there you go. I now I see it. I don't know why that it. came into my mind. <laughs> no, because I, I used your old one, Mike. That's why. Oh. It's... Why do you still have that? I'm not going to use it anymore. Uh, so, we have all the wagers in. So, let me clear those out of my thing so that I can get your new messages. When I used the in. one that Mike used to send me a picture of a wiener. <laughs> well, it, it wasn't exactly a picture of a wiener. <laughs> not his wiener. It was a video of somebody <laughs> taking a wiener out of their pants and it falling into a toilet. Um, <laughs> so, here's your Final sure Jeopardy. Alright, guys. Wagers are in. Final Jeopardy category is authors. Here's your clue. In 1937, his sister said he had hats of every persuasion, which he would use as a foundation of his next book. 30 seconds, players, and do it. Waiting on Ricks. Don't send I it to. I think you're good, Jace. I had no idea. Just don't. I don't took send a it. wild guess in this don't one just because to... I thought many hats. Remember, to, remember not to send it to my old one, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm right, holy shit! But if I'm wrong, as I probably am, we we be good. As soon as we get Ricks in, we'll we'll reveal answers and, and stuff like that. And miraculously, Rick, who ragered zero, will come out the champion. No, that ain't gonna happen. I can I, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> so we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna actually start with our third place character. Our third place character. Our third place <laughs> character. I'm a character. Yeah, uh, uh, Rick, you had 6,400 going into this round. Uh, you I, you weren't gonna catch him, but you could at least make a respectable total for yourself. You said, "Who is Doctor Seuss?" Yeah, that's the right. That's the right oh, answer. Holy shit! I got that it right. That is the correct answer. Uh, you're gonna move up to 9,400. We go to Chelsea. You had 20,000 even. She said, "Also, who is Doctor Seuss?" She doubles her score to 40,000. Jace has got to have it right, and he's got to wager at least uh, 19,600 at least to tie Chelsea. He said, "Who is Theodore Doctor Seuss Geisel?" He even gave us his real name. That is correct. He wagered twenty grand, which means Jace is going to squeak out a victory. Forty thousand four hundred. Wow! Five by a couple of dollars. Four hundred dollars. 
A margin of four hundred dollars. I was that holding my breath there. Holy crap. Well, Jace, that's gonna that's amazing. That's the closest we've that's the closest game we've ended with the first I think and so, yeah, you're right. Uh, that makes it a four week total. Hold on to your <laughs> pants. Balls. Hold on to your pants. One hundred innings. <laughs> If what? that's the case, let's just institute the five in a row rule no, like uh, no. Jeopardy has now. I think no, Jeopardy has the sky's the limit rule still. Really, so I thought go... they I thought they instituted nope. a five and no. that was it. Like no, after Ken Jennings. The, originally it was a five day rule. They got rid of that at, be, right before Ken Jennings came on and did a seventy five day game run. No, Holy they're still shit. doing the sky's the sky's the limit rule. You can return as much as you want. Holy uh, crap, man! <laughs> J- uh, Jace, you are four week champion, and your grand total is one hundred and sixty three thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. So congratulations! <laughs> Holy crap! That is a lot of money! Wow! Uh, you should just oh, go on. Thing. You should just go on Jeopardy. And as we said <laughs> last, at this point, Jace should just go on Jeopardy. This is the Jace the Ace show, by the way. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, <laughs> By the way, that makes... I, I have officially bought the mental cast with all my Joker Jeopardy money. Of course. Money. This also means, as always, Jace is going to be back again next week. <laughs> because he's allowed to be on the show as mu- as long as he's still champion. So he could be on for a long time. I but beat that my was, record that was three in close. a row as That's of this the week. closest. I think that's the closest you've come to losing since you, since we started doing Joker's Jeopardy. So. I held my breath on that last one. I like, really did. But if you had only that wagered, many hats think, thing just made me think like, Dr. Seuss. Yeah, if yeah. you had only wagered 19-6, you'd have, t- you'd have been tied, and then we'd have had co-champions, and we'd have still had you on next week. But still, <laughs> <laughs> man, oh man, that was good. I uh, figured Chelsea- if, if she had... If she had wagered and blown it, you know, and I had wagered and blown it, I still would have made it out with 400. And if Rick had gotten it, then at least I would have beaten Chelsea for the fourth week in a row. Like, and <laughs> Rick, could, Rick could have been back next week, and, you know, I, I would just be like, okay, a week off. Yeah, you know, let's let's see where this goes from here. <laughs> uh, Chelsea Targeting, where do we find you? Uh, you can find me. On uh, Twitter, mostly, until Twitter stops being Twitter. Twitter. All right, and that's Chelfie, since she won't say Yeah, it's itself. Chelfie. C-H-E-L-F-F-I-E. If I can spell, I'm just double-checking that I give you guys the right... Thing. ...URL this time. <laughs> what, Mike? Uh, I'm waiting for Chelsea to give us okay. a little... So, the, the correct URL for my blog, which as of yet has nothing, but very soon will have the first movie, uh, which will be Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, um, is filmbookproject.blogspot.com. All right. Uh, Billy Carter, where do we find you? You find me on Facebook, uh, Carter. You find me on the Twitter, Billy Carter 17 You can find me on YouTube's. Jelly Billy Reviews. Okay. You'd find me on Russell Riffs on TVForYourMind.com. Uh, you can also find me in the space between the spaces. It's a pretty large space. Yes. Uh, by the way, I, re- I just recently renewed TVForYourMind.com through 2017, so we got <laughs> we'll have that that URL ain't going away anytime soon. And I may renew it for longer if I when I get the chance. Uh, thank you to the Patreons for uh, uh, patrons for allowing that to happen. You paid for that, Earl. Thank you very much. Yep. Uh, you are a company. Yes, pretty much. Uh, Rick, where do we find you? You can find me looking for for Mister Goodbar. You can, also, <laughs> you can also find me also asking similar questions. Uh, 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 in in two weeks at UConn at UConn with Michelle Light. In my game show, Fluster Clock. Hey! Woo! Yes. You, you can also find me on YouTube, MMOG, MMOG, official, Twitter, that 80s dude where I just make fun of wrestling. Or you can also follow me on Russell Riffs, also make fun of wrestling. Mm-hmm. Or on Facebook, making fun of everything else. All right. Getting blocked by Road Dog. Oh, also, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Next week, 
um, next weekend, starting the 18th through the 21st, I will be in uh, National Harbor, Maryland For at MAGFest. Fest. I hate you. So if you want to go, uh, if you want to go, awesome, y'all need to go. If you want to go, to, ogle, yes, next year. If you want to go, year. ogle Chelsea, there's your hmm? chance. What was uh, that? I said, if you want to go, ogle Chelsea, that's your chance. JSDA, where do we find you? Okay, I'm, I'm the facilitator of con orgies. You're not Jays. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on Facebook, Crit Hit Cosplay. Mm-hmm. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, uh, Steam, uh, uh, Meverse as uh, Crit Hit Jace, or maybe it's Crit Hit Pro. I don't quite remember on uh, on Meverse. Uh, you can also find me uh, on YouTube and Twitch as Crit Hit Jace, uh, and on Tumblr. Mind of Jace with hyphens. I'm on TVFreeMind.com uh, where I do Slam, uh, Russell Riffs, Joker's Wild, You Can't Be Serious. New episode of You Can't Be Serious just went up. Uh, you can go check that out. Uh, I also am over at GeekJuiceMedia.com where I do this show for fact's sake. And Geek Juice Gaming Live where this where tonight at 10, 9 central I'll be doing Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Part of the, dun, 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 dun. Part of the N64's 20th anniversary celebration. Uh, that game is 20 years old, believe it or not, now. Yeah, I'm on... 20 years old? Yeah. Pokemon. Yeah, this yeah. true. I am uh, also on social media at MetalCastMC. That's on Facebook uh, and uh, Twitter and uh, Steam. And I'm on YouTube at Metal Studios 1. Big thank you to our producer, uh, Dane Ford Joan, for being producer again. That's kind of... It's just kind of the thing I do. It's what I do. It's what I do. <laughs> Thanks uh, to Bill for clipping the audio. Sorry. <laughs> for, for Dane for June, I'm Mike Riley. Hi, I'm Chelsea Tartenden. I have a street pass. I'm Billy Ooh. Carter. I'm Rick Tarasi. <laughs> I'm Mr. Bulldog. <laughs> Got a shit on the floor. A shit on the floor. <laughs> it's time to get Swifty in here. I'm Chase the Ace. Did you say Let's Bulldog? Let's get Swifty. I'm- I'm going to win the Royal Rumble because I'm bizarre. Bizarre. (laughs) See you next week.